Here's what's making news on Roadshow. He's back! Industry legend Chris Bangle has returned to the car business. After leaving his perch as the controversial design head of BMW and working for clients like Samsung, Bangle has returned with this unusual city car. Dubbed Red's EV, the phone booth-like runabout reimagines the car interior with Chinese megacity traffic in mind. It features a reconfigurable cabin that functions as a work or living space. You may not like Bangle's designs, but they always make you think. Lyft is about to make sure that all of its employees get behind the wheel. The ride-sharing service will shortly require that all of its 2,000 corporate workers drive in Lyft cars and pick up fares for at least four hours every three months. These hours can also be worked by staffing driver support calls or manning one of Lyft's driver hubs. In addition, all new hires will have to spend a day at the wheel as part of their onboarding process. The goal is to have corporate employees better understand what it's like to be a driver. Tesla is upset with the German government. The company's Model S has been disqualified from a German EV subsidy program because officials say that the vehicle is too expensive. For its part, Tesla says that any customer can order a low-content Model S that skirts under the program's 60,000 euro price cap, and Rocho was able to confirm that configuration on Tesla's German website. No doubt the lower-cost Model 3 would qualify for the program, but Tesla's having a devil of a time getting production ramped up for the US, let alone Europe. Find more on these stories over at theroadshow.com. We'll talk to you Monday.